Hello everyone and welcome back to the next installment of our 9.2 raid guides, proudly presented by Coinbase. This is Crazy Puck from Team Liquid and today we'll show you how to kill the first boss in the Mythic Sepulchre of the First Ones, Vigilant Guardian. This video is being recorded live from Team Liquid's Race to World First event, so apologies if there's a little bit of background noise. As a reminder, all of our Mythic guides are written with the assumption you understand how the fight works on Heroic. As such, this video is focused on the mythic changes in strategy, and we won't be reviewing how heroic mechanics work. If you need a refresher on the basic mechanics, check out the heroic guide video on our channel. Vigilant Guardian Mythic is a much different and much more enjoyable encounter than its heroic counterpart. At the very beginning of the fight, the Vigilant Guardian himself will roll out of the wall, and you'll be doing the entire adds and defense matrix stage while also fighting the boss. This creates a much more dynamic feel to the encounter and helps keep it from being boring. It also means that your raid will need to deal with all of Heroic's Stage 2 mechanics for the entirety of the Mythic Stage 1 as well. On top of this, there's also a couple of other new mechanics for Mythic. The most prevalent are the Spikes of Creation, which are little bombs that get left on the ground following Refracted Blast. Each blast leaves behind four bombs. When a bomb is triggered, it'll explode, applying a mild dot to the entire raid for 6 seconds, stacking. These bombs are triggered either when a player runs into them, or if they are hit by D resolution or split resolution from the boss. If all four get broken, and you get a 4 stack of the debuff, especially if you chain it together and refresh the duration, this can get really bad for the raid. We recommend popping two of the bombs immediately when they come out, waiting for the dot to fall, and then popping the other two. These will occur throughout the entire fight until the boss reaches 15%, so you'll be dealing with these basically the entire time. The boss will also do constant ticking damage to the raid called Radioactive Core every 3 seconds for the duration of the encounter until reaching that 15% mark. Aside from that, there's also a couple of other things to worry about. After the boss casts Exposed Core, he'll start casting Overclock, increasing his damage by 10% per stack. He'll also overheat and basically use all of his abilities at once, which gets pretty dicey. That's basically the hardest part of the fight, so be ready, spread out as a group, and dodge all of the things. Then he'll cast Overclock several more times, which can get also really dangerous for everyone. At 5 stacks of Overclock, he's doing 50% increased damage, not just to the tanks, but also to the raid by increasing the damage of his radioactive core ticks. It's really easy to lose people here, so use a healer cooldown if necessary, and make sure you aren't getting hit by anything unnecessary. The only way to remove stacks of overclock, and to stop him from casting more of them, is to detonate an unstable core from a defense matrix. So, as soon as the exposed core cast ends, all DPS should hard swap to the active defense matrix, blow it up as quickly as possible, and then someone will need to pick up the unstable core and pop it on the boss. Aside from that, just like on Heroic, you're going to want the entire raid starting on one side of the room. We start on the right hand side, but left works just as well. Kill all of the adds as they come out. Dodge everything. Refracted blasts, de-resolution, and split resolution. Players targeted by matter dissolution need to get out of the raid and keep the orbs away from everyone. The lines from that tank smack, the split resolution, are super dangerous for melee, so watch timers to know exactly when it's coming out, and watch your feet. Don't get hit by it. Following a refracted blast, pop two bombs immediately, and then the other two when the debuffs fall off. Make sure to stack in the shield when exposed core is cast. As soon as the cast ends, spread out and get ready to dodge all of the things coming out at you. Then hard swap, blow up the defense matrix, blast it down, and use that unstable core as quickly as possible. You'll do this twice, as the boss only casts Exposed Core two times on Mythic. Each unstable core that you use will deal 15% of the boss's health, so you'll actually need to chew through the majority of the boss's health yourself. To help with this, you'll want most of your raid main targeting the boss and cleaving down onto the adds. After the second Exposed Core ends, the rest of the adds will keep spawning, so keep cleaving them down and keep dodging things. Once you've taken out all of the adds, they do stop spawning, and then you'll only be fighting the boss by itself. So, just keep dodging all the things, keep everybody alive. At 15% health, the boss casts Core Overload. You'll want to pop Lust here and just nuke down the boss. Roll healer cooldowns to keep the raid stable, and kill him before the AoE kills off your raid. And that's it. 
Congrats on killing the first mythic boss. Let's move on deeper into the raid. If you enjoyed this guide, remember to like it and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to catch all of our previews, guides, kill videos, and more. A big thank you to Coinbase for making guides like these possible. From everyone here at Team Liquid, have a great day and we'll see you for the next video.